Hello and welcome back. If you've been following along, in my previous video, we talked about creating inlays and I showed you how to make a simple square inlay. If you haven't seen that video, please check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Today we're gonna make more inlays, but today we're gonna get kind of fancy. We're gonna make bow ties. The way I like to create a bow tie inlay is using templates. I make them myself and then I have a repeatable pattern that I can use over and over. This gives me a consistent look in my project. So let's take a look at how to create those templates, and then we'll take a look at using those templates. First, we're gonna come up with a basic shape for the bow tie. I made mine five inches long, two inches wide at the widest points, and one inch wide in the center. As always, I'm gonna speed up a lot of these clips, just for time. Now I'll cut that out using the crosscut slide on the table saw. I'm just using a piece of poplar here. You can use whatever wood you like, but we're going to rip it down to the same two inches as that pattern we just cut. And now we'll cut them both to length so that they're exactly the same. Now we need to find the angles of our cuts. Line this up with another piece of wood and use a speed square. Mine happened to be around 10 and a half degrees. Set your miter saw at that angle and cut a piece of scrap. Let me start by saying, this is definitely not a safety video, but we are gonna use that piece of scrap to line up our pattern on the crosscut sled so we can make these cuts with the table saw so we'll have nice, clean, straight lines. So we're actually only cutting out one side of that pattern, and then we're going to transfer these lines to that piece of poplar we cut. And make sure when you're marking from one side to the other, you spin the pattern, don't flip it over. This way it will always be a mirror of itself. We're going to remove the bulk of the material with the bandsaw, and then we'll switch over to the router. Now I'll stick my pattern to my piece of poplar with some double-sided tape. Using a half-inch flush trim router bit, we're going to trim to final size, spin the pattern, and do the other side. Then we'll swap out the router bit to a quarter-inch round-over bit. To round over the corners of the bow tie, you'll need to clamp to a block. Just keep flipping it over until you have all four corners rounded. Now we need a couple pieces of scrap, maybe an inch and a half or so wide. And we'll want one piece about 12 inches wide. And we're going to cut those inch and a half strips roughly in half. Now we want to use some double sided tape and box in this bow tie.
I'm just going to pre-drill some holes so that I can screw this down to some 2x4s, getting it up off the workbench, and I can clamp it into place. To cut this out, I like to use a spiral upcut bit to remove the bulk of the material, and then I'll switch over to a pattern bit. Now we're installing a half inch pattern bit. It's important to use a half inch bit so that it matches the quarter inch radius that we put on those corners. Now with just a little bit of light sanding, we can get a perfect fit. Alright, so now we've got two templates made. We're going to use this one as a pattern to cut out our bow ties, and this one is going to be used as a guide for the router to cut out our recesses. Let's see how that looks. I'm ripping my bow tie material down to about 3 eighths of an inch thick, so it's just a little wider than the final dimension needs to be. Then we'll just trace our pattern so we can rough cut this on the bandsaw. And once again we're going to use some double sided tape so we can make our final cuts on the router. This is the piece I'll be cutting the bow tie in. Let's just go ahead and see if we can cover up this ugly knot. And sticking with the theme of the day, more double sided tape. For this cut, we're going to be using a half inch mortising bit with a half inch guide bushing. And remember, I've sped up these clips a lot. Just go slow, remember your ear and eye protection. And again, we're going to do just a little bit of light sanding to get that perfect fit.
and now it's ready to glue in place. And to trim that off, I like to just use a one inch straight bit. And because it's so close to the edge, I'll set another piece next to it. Then I'll set up a couple of scraps for the router to write on. And we'll set our router depth so that it's just above the workpiece. And then a quick hit with the orbital sander to finish it up. Alright, so that's how I like to make my bow ties. I think this turns out really nicely and is pretty quick and easy once you get the templates made. Now something to keep in mind is that this process can be used for almost any shape. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. But as always, even if you didn't, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one.